old stuff with a lifetime of memories brings tears to my husband's eyes when he looks at this stuff. His grandpa, William Wallace, descendant of Braveheart. He, Wallace's personalized Pi Beta Kappa group he belonged to. They were University of Washington people. They lived in the President's house there in uh, the University of Washington and uh, Larry was conceived on the <laughs> on the grounds I think that's what made made him so smart because he's got a genius IQ I like to brag about that because I'm so stupid <laughs> anyway here's a thimble of Grandma Ruth's isn't that beautiful Intricate. Wow. His grandpa Wallace was a flight something. Look at these goggles. Wow. I don't know why it has that number 100. Maybe it was number 100. But it is William Wallace. Look at this knife. Anybody know what kind of knife this is? Yikes. That could be painful. And then here's some of his goggles. It's missing a lens. Maybe I should find that. That'd be cool to put this all in a box. A shadow box for Larry. Mount, everything mounted in a shadow box. I did that for our pastor. I put all his badges, his police badges and everything. Wallace's... personalized pin I think was the Pi Beta I don't know any of that stuff I was never I am a, in a sorority I'm in a uh, well anyway I'm in a women's sorority we do good things it's a non-collegiate sorority Kappa Alpha. I enjoy that. I wish I could be part of that again, but I'm not well enough right now. William Wallace. Yep, he's a Scottish Braveheart. Anyway, just thought this stuff was interesting. Old goodies. Larry says this was his mom's hat. She was a gifted music prodigy. No, that's his dad's hat. No, that's his mom's hat. No, um, anyway, and his grandma's thimble. Cool. Anyway, memories of years gone by bring tears. Missing loved ones. But we have the hope to see them again. <laughs>